Well, Uber has officially crashed. We're gonna talk about it in today's video, my friends. Please thumbs up the video if you believe Uber drivers and Lyft drivers deserve more pay. Speaking of pay, I wanna tell you all about an awesome opportunity to make more money as a rideshare driver by downloading Play Octopus. It's a tablet that you put in your car and you as a rideshare driver start earning $100, $200 a month by putting in your car, asking your friends to sign up for this too. You don't need to do that, but just stick it in your car and you can start making some serious money. Link below, get signed up in a couple minutes. And I do believe they are now nationwide, so you can sign up down below. Uber stock price, my friend, is down big, down to 22 bucks from a high of over $60. That's down huge. Uber head of rides in the United States and Canada has formally left the company. Dennis Sinelli has left for a job at a startup company, a little startup company called Scale AI. He's stepped down. According to people familiar with the matter, he is the latest among a handful of top level executives that have left Uber in the past six months. Is this really gonna be the end? Along with the entire gig economy sector has struggled on public markets. Sonelli has been with the team since 2016 and helped keep positions with Uber's finance team. Maybe that's why they're not paying drivers more because he's gone. He was instrumental in taking Uber public in 2019 as its global head of strategic finance and later ran its scooter and micromobility division jump. He briefly left the company to work for Bird. Guys, if you are devoted you know, employee, you don't just leave to go work for a competitor and then come back. It's like, this guy apparently was next in line to be Uber CFO. That doesn't say much. I mean, this guy left the company then came back. Now he left again. Make up your dang mind. I assume he knows something we don't. And he knows something that Uber's not telling us. Also, in other news, July 4th strike has had taken place. There will, uh, it's still taking place according to Reddit. The user on Reddit, Cordial Demon, says there's a strike for 60 days. During the hours of 6 p.m. and 9 p.m., drivers will not be online. There's a, I don't know. He's, he's saying that. I mean, have, are you participating in the strike? So this is our way of fighting for better wages. This is our way of fighting for improved safety for drivers. Seatbelts. By joining in together, we hope to deliver a message we've had enough. And now Uber drivers also have said that Due to rising cost of gas prices, their earnings have gone down. And Uber officially announced they've ended the fuel surcharge on every single delivery order that you do as a driver. So if you're going out and driving Uber and you get an Uber Eats delivery, you know, they send it to you, you ain't getting paid that gas surcharge, even though you still got to drive. Who's making this stuff up? Or better yet, you take an Uber ride. You go two mile ride down the road, you get 50, 30 cent fuel surcharge. Or, or you take a, a 90 mile trip, you know, across the, you do a 150 mile trip across the state and you're still getting 50 cents fuel surcharge. Who's coming up with this stuff? Don't you realize that it costs more money to drive farther? Did Uber really not think about that? Anyways, guys, I'm going to make uh, this video short and sweet, but Uber is officially, in my opinion, probably crashing. I don't know how much longer it's going to be around, but yeah, guys, if you are interested in signing up for Play Octopus while Uber lasts, there's also some other ratchet companies popping up, too, that I've heard about. Crow, I don't know if you've heard about that one. There's some other one called, like, uh, Endriver or something, but yeah. Sign up for Play Octopus, link in the description box, you start earning some money. It's sunset. Uh, sorry about the lighting. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great day. Bye now.